Louisiana Beer Reviews, joined by Elizabeth, yes. is looking at, not this, at this, Bayou Bootlegger Hard Root Beer. Our Hard Root Beer is a decidedly adult take. I'm not reading this whole thing. It's a gluten-free product, which means it's not made with barley, so I don't know what they're using. Uh, cane sugar from Louisiana. Might be colonial over there in uh, Gramercy, colonial sugar. Mm. Um, aromas of wintergreen, let's remember this, wintergreen, vanilla, and sassafras with hints of clove and anise, or anise. I think anise is what they use in licorice. Okay, um, mm -hmm. uh, Abita Brewing. Abita it's also Springs. in like Italian sausage. Right, Abita Springs, Louisiana. It says it's a beer, though, with natural flavors and caramel color added. 5.9% alcohol. The bottle's super cute, at least. Yeah, pirate like Jean Lafitte. Even if the beer is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this has been on the market about a month. There's nothing on Beer Advocate and Rape Beer. Not enough ratings. Like, Rape Beer has one rating, I think, and okay. Beer Advocate has none. Video right. reviews, I don't think there Fresh. are any. Fresh. Well, we were the first. That's I cool. didn't check on YouTube, but this could be the first video review for this beer okay. in the world. But then it may not be. All right. Yeah. But I think it is. The only other hard beer I've had was the um the one the roller coaster on it, the old roller coaster. Coney Island. Coney Island. And I liked it. That's I, the people that make Samuel Adams. I tried it only out of curiosity. I thought I was gonna hate it, but I actually did enjoy it. So I had the, I had the Coney Island. Let's see. I had the not your father's root beer. Which one of those did you like better? And I had the best damn root beer. Which of those did you think From was the Budweiser best one? And how's the butcher? Best Buy, May 14, 2016. Put the date, guys. They have the date. It's not that hard to put dates on a bottle or a can, really. Um, I thought the worst was the Not Your Father's. Okay. I didn't like it. At first it was good, then it was not so good, then it was kind of bad, then it was horrible. Um, the Coney Island started, it was a little sweet, kind of like mug root beer maybe. Mm -hmm. But it was good. I liked it. I drank it. I would not have it again because I don't drink these kind of products, but I would recommend it for somebody that likes root beer. The best damn root beer really was the, the best, best damn root beer. Was the best doggone root beer I've had. Hard root beer because it was just like it made me think of A and W mug or barks. Okay. I'll have to try that one then. And it was sweet. Of course they're gonna be sweet. But it wasn't like unpleasant. I drank the whole thing, I was like, this is not bad. Okay. So it looks like Anheuser Bush got it right. And they also make the best damn apple ale. Oh. Apparently they're going to make a whole line of it. Cool. Of I like apple ale. Flavored beers. Okay. Now, okay. Or in your case, you like them. But okay. Sometimes. I don't. Sometimes you they're do. pretty bad. Depends. You never had the tomato beers. No. I, I don't want to do. Like Budweiser. I had to get some. I was thirsty. Budweiser Clamato Chilada. All the times I sit here just waiting, just waiting to have a sip of a beer, and you're just talking, and you're just inhaling, you're just going to gulp it. Okay, well, let's look That's at the... That's so betrayed. Let's look at the appearance. Okay, looks like root beer. Looks like root beer. I mean... Smells like root beer. But you know what I noticed? They don't pop like a root beer. Like, if you get a root beer, and it's, you can see almost like the carbonation popping. Mm-hmm. This, you hear nothing. It's not like pop. It's like... <laughs> nothing... Smells. You know, get a root beer and it'll be fizzy. They'll be popping. You like get it on your glasses. Um, then you have to clean your glasses because that's sticky stuff. Popping. Brown, like root beer, but not popping. No kind of foam, but you know, I have a little bit. You don't really get that on root beer either. No. Okay, the aroma. Well, it smells like root beer. Yeah, like you could fool somebody and they would think it's a Barks root beer if you yes. poured it. But they would say, why does Barks not popping? All right. <laughs> I mean, it tastes like a root beer. I don't. It does taste. I don't like, even taste the alcohol really. I do pick up the cane syrup. Yeah. Like maybe Steens cane syrup or. It kind of reminds me of those root sugars. beer flavored suckers we used to get in the little dum dum bag. Ah, uh, somebody talked about that. They were saying, "You ever thought it might taste like the Halloween root beer candies?" And mm -hmm. I said, "Yeah, I didn't think about that." Mm -hmm. These are dangerous because it doesn't even taste like it's alcoholic. It kind of reminds me of a diet soda, actually, and I wonder if that's the cane sugar. I find it has an underlying chalk thing going, though. I don't know. There's something weird in the back of my throat happening, and I don't... 
I like cane sugar. Like normally, I really like sodas with cane sugar. Like Swamp Pop or is the throwback Pepsi. Delicious. I haven't had that, but like the the Cokes with cane sugar. Swamp Pop is delicious. I just had the Abita King Cake soda has cane sugar in it, but. If you get Mexican Coke, yeah. which they sell at Matherns and other stores, about. it'll have cane sugar instead of the corn syrup. If you get the throwback Pepsi, it's cane sugar. It tastes really good. It's a lot better for you. But the, the corn syrup? Okay. Than corn syrup. But there's something, there's something about this that kind of reminds me of like diet soda almost. Like a kind of, or like the, the root beer candy more than like an actual glass of root beer. Um... Let's go back to what they were saying. Now these used to be twist cap bottles, but Abita wanted to be craft beer, so they went to pry caps. What percent alcohol is this? Five point nine. Okay, so exactly not... like the natural ice I was drinking earlier. So not much. This is easy it's to like drink. It's like high average. Um, wintergreen. Make an ice cream float with this. I say yeah, it does taste like those wintergreen mints. Vanilla, a little bit. I do get the mint. Sassafras, which is root beer well, flavoring. Obviously, the which anise isn't they don't as use anymore. The anise isn't as like clove foreground. Cloves. I don't know about cloves. Mm -hmm. Anise, maybe a little licorice. Um, chalky undertaste, a little bit. For me, the anise is less like licorice and more like actual like anise, like like the herb that you put in food. Yeah, that's a but seed, it's very, isn't it? Yeah, but it's... Um, yeah, it's a seed, sorry. But yeah, it's, it's very... I don't really... It mostly just tastes like root beer. I still think that the best dam is better. How's this rate compared to the other ones you tried? This is a little lower than Coney Island. Okay. So it's still like best dam root beer from Anheuser Bush and Bev. Coney Island, number two from Boston Beer Company. Mm -hmm. Makers of Samuel Adams. Boston Lager. Third would be this Abita bootlegger from Abita Makers of and Not Your Father's Root Beer, still Abita, horrible. <laughs> Amber Ale. And Not Your Father's, which is 5.9. There's a 10.7% Not Your Father's, which has got to be so strong. And then they used to make a 19%, but it might have been outlawed or something. Um, this, like, I... I forgot I was going to say it just that quick. Wow. Oh, the, the Coney Island one tastes more like an alcoholic beverage to me. Mm. Like, when I was drinking it at my friend's house, I was like, okay, like, I get it. Now, it's gluten-free, so they might be using sorghum as their grain. Now, give me a little more because I have to write a written review. I have to have something to go by, and I don't want to just go by memory. Okay. Um, well, a little bit of foam, but watch how fast it'll die. This is Redbridge gluten-free sorghum beer made without wheat or barley. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, this one has like a strange health food store taste. It's kind of, but, you know, I'm, like you said, some people have to have it. They can't have the gluten. Yeah. Uh, I never say to myself, I would love to drink a flavored beer. Okay, so I try to be fair with these reviews because not, you know, if I just wasn't being fair, I'd say it's flavored. I hate it. I hate it. Well, I wouldn't even but think of this as a I don't hate beer. It. And it's not even really called, well, it's called it. It's it called beer, beer. But it's like hard root beer. That's not like cider. I wouldn't call a hard cider a beer. Even like Red's Apple Ale, I think of it as like a hard cider. So. But it's an ale. So I, if. But it's made I'm saying to, I like make that distinction. But obviously it's made to tap into that cider market. Like if I'm craving a beer, I'm not going to go drink this. If I want a root beer, I'm not going to go drink a Blue Moon. So how would you rate this? I know what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a B plus. Okay, I'm going to give it a B. I think it's good, but would I buy it again? No, because I wouldn't buy any of those again. So that's kind of an irrelevant point. I feel like the more that I'm sipping on it, the, the more I want to give it a regular B2, because I just took a, like a big gulp of the second glass, and it wasn't as... Would I recommend it to someone who wants to wreck a hard root beer? Yes, I would. But I, look, they got people that come in with urns. They love Not Your Fathers, right? Mm. They were like, hey, you got any Not Your Fathers? I said, well, they're sold out right now. Cause, and then I was like, well, they have this Coney Island. Uh, well, I said, hey, have you tried it? Well, no. It was like they weren't even willing to try it. I was like, well, you... You might want to, but no. But they might try this. I don't know. It's like um, people get dedicated to a brand and they haven't even tried the other ones. So Very few things I'm like that with. So check it out. You would recommend people checking it out? Yeah, I would recommend Coney Island first, probably. 
but which I've, is gone no, from our a, area by by the way. Oh, it is. Well, it might have sold out. They might have more. Oh, coming, but it's not on the show. It's not in Alabama. It's but for like shelves. people who like Abita, a lot of people just defer to Abita. A lot of people just like local brands. I would say to try this. Why not? Next time you're having a party, buy some. People might want to try it. And also, this kind of stuff is good. See, the beer, in my opinion, the beer companies are smart by doing stuff like this because there are some people who don't really like beer. No. But if you can appeal to other people with stuff like this or Apple beers or whatever, then you're widening your market. Like, oh, yeah, not yeah. everybody's going to drink Michelob Light or That's whatever. That's the whole point Michelob of it. Ultra, I don't even know what they are. Actually, I have Michelob Ultra and Light in the fridge. Okay. But um, two cool. different beers. But um, anyway... Um, have you hey. ever reviewed that chocolate peanut butter beer with the turtle in the yes, label? Yes, terrapin. I didn't find it was chocolatey or peanut butter enough. Okay. But it, you know it's good, but it didn't have enough of what it was claiming. If I want to, if I eat peanut butter, I want to taste peanut butter. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Could be a while before you do another one, but whatever. Y'all yeah. come on down to New Orleans. Roll wave. Roll tide.